You're listening to The Mark Simone Show. 710 WOR. Well, Ann Coulter is the best-selling author. In fact, all of her books, if you haven't read them all, they really apply to everything going on today. And you can follow her on Twitter. And the best thing is now Substack. You can go to annculter.substack.com because there you get columns, videos, podcasts, everything from her at annculter.substack.com. Ann Coulter, how you doing? Fantastic. How are you, Mark Simone? I'm good. Uh, Hey, we got this crazy mayor, Eric Adams, Uh, I'm going to play a a few seconds. Will you please listen to this and analyze what's going on in his head? I am the best person in this administration to finally turn around the Department of Correction. I am the best. What is he talking about? He's the best. (laughs) Well, I gather the feds are threatening to take over over Rikers, and he's fighting with them about it. but, uh, I want to ask you something about the congestion pricing. Well, yeah, but once you uh, have completely screwed some up, how, what does that do? I am the best. It's uh, uh, And where is he on congestion? Uh, I think he's learning from Trump. Okay, the congestion pricing apparently starts tomorrow. What? And you are... No. I think it does. Does it? No, I don't think it's... No, not yet. Are you sure? Yeah, they haven't gotten approved yet. You'll you'll hear everybody go nuts when they do. Um. Okay, well, whenever... Something's happening tomorrow about it. Yeah. Um, and I was just thinking, you you know New York better than I do as Mr. New York. Um, it, Midtown is kind of empty right now. I mean, this whole congestion pricing, the concept, um, I, I hate people having to pay more for anything and having that money go to the government. But as far as, as, as ways of raising money go, congestion pricing at least had made some logical sense. Back when New York was packed, people were coming to offices. You couldn't get through Midtown for most of the day. Um, And, you know, what about ambulances going through? What about someone who has a real emergency? If you're willing to pay, that's the way capitalism doles out um, who needs something the most. But it occurred to me that (laughs) since number one, the pandemic, mostly the pandemic, and also crime through the roof. Nobody's in Midtown. Well, there are people here, but uh, if you get these uh, government officials off the record, they'll tell you the only purpose of congestion pricing is to generate revenue. It is not. In fact, they've actually confessed to me uh, what happens when you get less uh, traffic because of the price. They'll actually confess we lower the price to get the traffic back. (laughs) Yes. No, that's what occurs to me. This is the stupidest time. There's no logical reason for it other than they're losing their tax base as people as people leave. It ends up being this vicious cycle. Um, they raise taxes through the roof, pay no, provide no services, so people leave. And then, oh, I know, we'll raise taxes again and provide even fewer services. <laughs> well, and what's the logic of uh, they tax your car, they tax your gas, they tax you. Now you want to drive on the street. That's another tax. I mean, what goes through their heads? How do they think this is even uh, moral to do this? Well, particularly, I was thinking um, there are people right now, well, me, for example, um, who don't, can't take the subway because of the crime. Um, so I'm sure there are a lot of people like me, and not that I, <laughs> when I'm in New York, particularly need to get any place. Um, certainly not in a hurry. Uh, but those people, some of them will be forced to take the subway now. You know, wanting to get someplace, not wanting to pay um, an exorbitant fee for now more exorbitant for a New York City cab or or Uber, and they're going to be pushed in front of a subway. Yeah, so... Uh, or stabbed or raped. Uh, it, I, it's so easy to... You know, if you just called Ray Kelly <laughs> and said, could you yes. come down here for a couple hours and tell us what... He'll, he'll show you exactly what to do. But uh, you got this... Well, no, but they can't hire him. He's, he's a white man. Yeah, but Sorry. You, you, so if you notice that, did you see the new police commissioner? Did you hear his speech? Well, it was It was like listening to Tim Scott. It's all about how he's not white. Well, fantastic. You're totally qualified. Him, Kamala. <laughs> that is, that's the number one requ- job requirement these days. Hey, I'm not white. Well, 
Now, explain this one to me. Uh, I, I hate to pick on the illegal migrants all over New York, but lately, and I actually saw this with my own eyes, they stand on the side of the Cross Bronx Expressway, right in the expressway, selling fruit and candy. In the middle of the Cross Bronx Expressway, what the hell are they thinking, and why does anybody allow this to go on? Yes, no, I think that's a very good point. I mean, besides the danger, I didn't I didn't know about what you were talking about, but, I, but I've noticed when I've been in New York, a lot of these manifestly unlicensed fruit sellers, <laughs> um, that isn't particularly, you know, dangerous, though it does clog up the sidewalks, but it's unfair to the many street vendors. You're, you need to have a license to do that. And, yeah, it's all migrants. It is 100% migrants. Now, that's the least of the problems, as has been documented extensively um, by go on Twitter to Viral News. Um, that has a lot of fantastic videos. This guy just he listens to, um, you know, the, the, the police radio and dashes places, gets stuff on video. Really, really, really good. Um, but these migrants are committing a lot of crimes, a lot of crimes. So forget the not getting a license for their fruit carts. Um, no, this is a total disaster, and part of it traces back to this moronic New York City law that anyone can come here and you have a right to free housing. <laughs> Who could have ever thought of that, Mark? So, uh, but I have faith in America that we'll just come out of this ridiculous cycle, that everything will go back to normal someday, somewhere. Am I crazy, or uh, is this the end of... Uh... Well, I hope so, too. It may just be that we're, you know, human beings and hope springs eternal. Um, but I, I mean, particularly in the greatest city in the world, New York, I, are people really just going to give this city up? Um, I don't know. It happened to Detroit. I think it's happened to Chicago. It seems to be happening in San Francisco. Um, so maybe cities will just be completely unlivable for, for Americans. Um, I don't know if you saw this. There's a big article about in um, City Journal um, about the massive, massive flight from the cities, all cities, but particularly in you know New York, New Jersey, California, but all cities, even in Texas, of uh, families with kids, young kids, yeah. well, fleeing like mad, crime and the COVID shutdowns. Yeah, I know. Well, a lot of that is not not having to go to the office every day. It makes it easier to be uh, in the suburbs and just come in a couple days a week. Yeah, but uh, people who have never had to go to the office every day – Oh, I know, like me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> want, want to be in New York because it's a fun city. Well, it's becoming a lot less fun <laughs> when you can't stay out late because of crime, when you can't take the subway because of crime, because there are, are more and more areas just completely blocked off to you because of crime. Well, we got one man to thank. I am the best. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Hell of a job. So, uh, hey, everybody, uh, follow Ann Coulter on Substack. Now, you, you got everything there, right? Podcasts, videos, columns. Yes, yes. I have a good one with John Binder up this week. I did a terrific one last week with Nadine Strassen of the ACLU talking about these major First Amendment cases. I mean, that order, which has not gotten much news, exposing how the Biden administration was pressuring social media companies to take down true facts about COVID. Yeah. Not to I, mention Hunter Biden's laptop, et cetera. Yeah. So everybody follow Ann Coulter. At Substack is like the hot news site. Just go to annculter.substack.com. annculter.substack.com. You can also follow her on Twitter, get her books and all of that. Ann Coulter, thanks for being with us. Good to talk to you, Mark. Bye. All right. Take care. Uh, also, oh, everybody check out the webpage. There's a lot of video up there. Now, this we put up today. This is really scary. There's no way Joe Biden can be president in two years. And can you imagine him in three years, four years, what he'll be like? Watch him yesterday. This is pathetic as I've ever seen. He's just got a simple meeting with the Israeli president. He's just going to make some small talk. They have to write it out for him and put it on note cards. They're both sitting there. so they've, they've, They're trying to hide the note cards in his lap. But you can see him looking down in his lap to read the small talk, but watch this. He's just completely indecipherable. He's just mumbling, and the it, this is frightening to look at. It's up on the webpage. Oh, also up there, uh, Jerry Seinfeld. On the difference 
between being single and being married. It's all up on the webpage. Go to 710WOR.com slash Mark. 710WOR.com slash Mark.